Hi, you're watching Take 5 with Hindustan Times. I am Aditi Prasad. In previous episodes of Take 5, we have discussed various aspects of the pandemic, including uh, pandemic politics the, and, and also the now growing clamor to impartially investigate whether the SARS-CoV-2 virus originated in a lab in Wuhan or not. Now, in today's episode, however, I want us to, to really get back to the basics. How do you protect yourself from the virus? I want to do this for three reasons. One, the last one month has shown us that protection is better than treatment, especially given the overflowing hospitals, the over, uh, overworked healthcare infrastructure, the practitioners, the doctors, the nurses, the acute shortage of beds, ICUs, oxygens, medicines, everything. Second, vaccines are still in short supply and the situation is not likely to change in the next couple of months. And while the government resolves uh, vaccine supply by ramping up domestic production or imports, everyone really needs to stay on their guard because as we all know, no one is safe till everyone is sick. And the third and more immediate reason for reiterating the so-called uh, non-pharmaceutical interventions uh, or COVID appropriate behavior is that our knowledge about the virus is constantly evolving. Our knowledge about how the virus is behaving is constantly, constantly evolving. Remember the World Health Organization had originally insisted that the virus is not airborne, that it is only through, uh, only spread through droplets which are generated when an infectious person coughs or sneezes or speaks. Uh, they said that the droplets were too heavy to hang in the air. Uh, they quickly fall on surface, surfaces and therefore there was this huge stress on continuous hand washing or sanitization. Not that that stress has gone away, but we now also know that the virus is airborne. Now that does not mean that the virus is out there spreading by air and anyone who goes outside will simply get infected by merely breathing. No, what it means is that if there is a COVID-19 positive person in a small room or in an enclosed space which lacks ventilation and the person coughs or speaks or sneezes, the aerosol remains suspended in the air for 30 minutes to one hour. And if you enter that space and inhale those fine aerosols, you contract the virus. Dr. Ambrish Safik, who's a, a vascular uh, endovascular surgeon at, at Sarganga Ram Hospital, gave me a very apt example. He said, imagine these aerosols are like cigarette odor. If someone is smoking in a, uh, a cigarette in a corner of a large room, and you know, you can smell the cigarette smoke standing in another corner of the room, and six feet is really not a, not a uh, differentiator here. This is what the virus is behaving like right now. It is dissipating from one part of the room to another. And one person is in, any one person in that room is infected, then others, uh, the likelihood of others getting infected increases, especially if all of them are unmasked. So coming back to the non-pharmaceutical interventions, uh, since our knowledge about the virus behavior is uh, changing and evolving over time, so now the protocols uh, for prevention are also changing and evolving. Now it's not just masking, maintaining social distancing and sanitizing. What has been added to it is ensuring good ventilation. The Office of the Principal Scientific Advisor to the Government of India, in fact, uh, today issued a new advisory on how to stop the transmission and crush the pandemic. Let me take our viewers through each of the points reiterated and highlighted in the new advisory, which begins with the four-pronged approach double mask, distance, sanitize, ventilate. Point number two is about how the virus spreads via saliva and nasal respiratory discharge. So following proper COVID appropriate behavior, including double masking, maintaining a social distance, ventilating, stops transmission, mask up even if you are at home and have a visitor and that includes the domestic health. Or even if you're in the presence of family members who might be going out on a regular basis for work or even to buy uh, groceries. Remember, people who do not show symptoms can also spread the virus. One asymptomatic person has the ability to release enough aerosols to infect many people. So stay aware of people who may never show symptoms and yet are spreaders. 
enclosed indoor spaces droplets and aerosols become quickly concentrated uh, so of course hugely increasing the risk of transmission to people in the area so what do you do the answer is ventilation opening doors and windows to allow cross ventilation use of exhaust fans can greatly reduce high concentrations of the virus better the cross ventilation lower the risk of transmission in closed spaces now if you're at work and or even at home in an air conditioned room and these are summer months please set the air con such so that the inside air is constantly renewed we all know that running acs while keeping windows and doors uh, shut traps the air inside so keep windows and doors slightly ajar use exhaust fans pay attention to ventilation in toilets remain masked up uh, when uh, visiting the toilet or the washroom in office spaces now in case you are in a centrally air conditioned area where you do not have the option of opening doors or windows to let in outside air check for you must uh, check for improved central filtration roof ventilators ventilators etc in offices auditoriums uh, malls etc managers of these spaces should pay special attention to this the same applies when you are using public transport keep windows open in buses and trains when possible public transport managers should ensure deployment of exhaust systems to improve air flow in air flow in air conditioned buses vans cars trains etc lastly and not the least bit important is something that has already been drilled into us since the beginning of the pandemic last year that is spitting coughing without covering etc Uh, we know that that can cause virus containing droplets to land on commonly used surfaces uh, like door handles or lift buttons or handles of buses uh, or door handles so if you touch such surfaces wash hands with soap and water before you touch your mouth or your nose or your eyes you know so that you in, in case there's the virus has come out your hand it doesn't reach anywhere else that's all in this episode please continue to follow covid appropriate behavior stay safe because as i've said before nobody is safe till everybody is safe thank you for watching this broadcast click on the bell icon below to subscribe to our youtube channel to never miss an update from hindustan times